Hey, it's April 22nd, 1235. An hour ago, my chemistry stu two kids just finished taking their thermodynamics test, and I started grading it. I noticed there was a shocking statistical anomaly. Of the 36 kids that took the test, actually two are gone, of the 34 who took the test, more than 25 made this exact same error. They turned 1.255 into 1.225, and they all got it wrong. And they got it wrong because I'm fairly sure that, uh, well, it was a shocking statistical anomaly. I'm fairly sure there was some viral copying because they all set it up exactly the same way. It all, they all set it up this way, and they all made this exact same error. Now, yeah, it's distance learning, so they're going to cheat. That's just the way it works. But how can we get around this? There is a way that we can mitigate this. If we go into our tests, so this is, a t this is the retake version they're going to be taking. They go into the test, and I got to edit the test. As I usually do with the multiple choice, the multiple choice questions are randomized. So there's 29 multiple choice, and they're randomized. As I showed in the previous video, if you put them into a random thing and you say pick 29 questions, one point per question, they're going to have a random order of those 29 multiple choice. But here's the problem. The free response, they all get the same free response. So they all do the same math. So to get around that, what you do is you create another random group. So down here, I made another random group with three versions of the same question. And I've told the test to pick out one from this group. Notice, an open beaker of 40 milliliters of water, 42 degrees is heated to 2200 joules. You get the idea, 3300 joules of heat, 4400 joules of heat. So all the same system, different numbers. So if a kid comes back and says, you know, I got the same one as Johnny, it's like, did you get the same question as Johnny? And you could do this forever. You could say, all right, I'm going to make another question. And the way you make new questions is you just edit the question, control C or command C if you have an apple, and then make a new question. And in the new question, control V or command V, I'm going to make this 1,200 joules of heat. So we got one at 2,200, one at 3,300, one at 4,400. Now we got one at 1,200 joules of heat. I can put the answer in and update question. Okay, so now, now I have a free response question. And what's going to happen when the kid gets to this question, the computer is going to spit out one that's either 1,200, 4,400, 3,300, or 2,200. In fact, let's just go put this guy up here. There we go. Okay, so how do you do it from the start? Pretty simple. You take the question you want. Okay, so I'm going to do this question right here. And that was, this was rando fr1. So I'm going to make a new group, new question group. I'm going to call this rando fr2, random free response question two. It's going to be one point. I'm going to choose one out of the pool. I'm going to make it two points. I'm going to create my group. I'm going to go up to fr2. And again, if anyone knows how to quickly drag these guys faster than, than this, let me know because this is how I'm doing it. And there's, there's probably a way to do a copy and paste and just not a drag, but uh, I'm dragging. I'm dragging, rawr, I'm a dragon. Okay, and down we go, okay, FR1, and here is rando FR2. So I'm gonna put my question to random FR2. Now, right now there's one point, one question in that pool. So if I send the test out, everybody will get that same question. But, quite simply, edit the question, little pencil, Loading the question, control C, cancel. Let's make a new question. Oops, no, I don't do that. I want to make a new question. Where did I, hey, come here, cancel. Make a new question, plus sign. There we go. And control V, I pasted. Now this reaction has an enthalpy of 134 kilojoules per mole. And update question. You can put the answer in if you want. Not going to. Now that there are different questions, I can put them together into the same pool. There we go. So now two questions are in the same pool. Now there's two questions in the pool. When they get to this free response question, the computer is going to pick one of two. Okay, that's not bad. 50 50 shot, but let's do some more. Let's make another one. And this one, control V, this is going to be positive 755 joules per mole Kelvin. Update question. Let's make another one. 
In this question, control V, uh, we're going to make this 134 and 755 Kelvin. Ah, devious. We're going to change them both. Okay, so now we have four questions, all different, that the computer will choose from. Hopefully that makes sense. Throw back our heads and laugh. <laughs> okay, four weeks left. Stay strong, finish strong.